Greetings, game girls and game boys. I am Contemplate, and this is Moonlighter. Press any key button to continue. Okay. Press. Oh, that's not the any key. Hang on, let me try again. Press. Oh, oh. this is one of two free games from Epic this week. So, it said gamepad suggested... But I don't have my controller with me right now. Thanks, game. So, new game. New game. Normal. Uh, yeah, okay, I guess. Uh, hard recommended. What? For players who want to focus on the story, original difficulty level increased. Oh, ooh, ah. Okay. Done. A uh, blubbity blub. So I have no idea what this game is. Let's let's play. Among the stars of night, there is an island old as imagination. One night mazes full of extraordinary treasures and deadly creatures appeared randomly. They called them dungeons, strange, ever-changing ruins of unknown lands. Soon a village of slightly curious took root near the dungeons named Rayanaka. I'm going to revoice this. Among the settlers, two groups shined brightest, heroes and merchants, glory and riches. But the dungeons proved too dangerous. They were soon closed as too many lives were lost in their depths. Life became hard for the town, especially for young owner of the oldest shop, Will Moonlighter. Long dreaming of opening a mysterious fifth floor to the dungeons. That, that symbol's not one I have. <laughs> yeah, I want to revoice that, because that, that, that could have been really cool, but it's the t text went by a bit quick. It didn't give me a chance to really learn it. Oh, well. I probably won't revoice it, but yeah, whatever. I'm a voice actor, yo. What? This is the Binding of Isaac. Man, I was hoping for something cooler. Kind of has has a little halves. Kind of has a little bit of a, a vibe of another game. Yeah, I know how to walk around. Thanks. Okay. So that's dodge. Okay. Yeah, we got it. It's fine. Okay. I guess I'm dead. Excuse me, Guardian. Bye. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward about this way about this time. Now what okay. Uh Is that a broom? Why'd you bring a broom, dude? I bet cleaned up this dudgeon. But I can't break anything. How am I supposed to get through? Okay, I'm so confused. Ah! You freaking buglings, you little nasty nasties. Moving on. Excuse me, you're gonna die. Sorry, I just realized I'm being super duper quiet and I was like, I'm gonna be so hyper today. <laughs> Apparently not. Uh, okay, I wait. I actually have to like individually grab each thing. Uh, okay, hang on. We're just quick yoink. There we go. Uh, you know what? This also reminds me of Enter the Gungeon quite a bit. So, okay, that's how I switch weapons. Oh shit! Oh, I guess it does tell you right there if you press and hold. Wait, I'm so confused. I'm so confused! Okay, whatever. Anyway, how's it going, y'all? How are things in the household? Oh, that's good. Yeah, your aunt's visiting. Weird. I don't have any aunts. I'm just kidding, of course I do. 
Don't be ridiculous. Ah, they're surrounding me. Dodge, roll, dodge, roll. Ah. Oh, jeez, this is gonna end badly. Guys, ah, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to die right now? This is too many enemies. Ah. I really feel like I was supposed to die. Yeah, I was, okay. Thanks a lot, Gabe. <laughs> yep, just spit me out. You've had your way with me, and then you spit me out. I see how it is. Oh? Jeremy! What? Oh, what a sorry looking kid. All alone now. Rest for a bit. Rest for a bit, Will. I have you now. Okay, I'm dead. Okay, I guess my name is Will. Will I or won't I be a great adventurer? Probably won't. <laughs> oh, good day. Oh, you have a shop. That's schnifty. <laughs> pass through the door to home, pass out the door to shop. That's great. Man, the art on this is actually really nice. Even as a mere child, barely able to walk, you are curious of the dungeons. Guess those are my notes. There is no doubt you carry the same obsession as old Pete. I'm okay. I'm awake. Morning, boy. Did our little merchant bite off more than he could manage? Saying is more than he could chew. Will. Listen to me. The hard truth is this. You are the last of your family. The only one left to run Moonlighter. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on this fifth door nonsense is foolish. Just leave it. Find some artifacts, then use your pendant to get out of the dungeon. And for creator's sake, stop using that broom of yours, you daft boy. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. You son of a bitch! It's mine from back in the day. Use it. I have little need for it now. You Zelda line stealing... Oh. Oh! Now then. Get up. You're wasting light. Can't have you neglecting the shop all day. Let's see if I can get through your hard head some of the tricks that I picked up from your grandfather so many, many years ago. Okay. Whatever. You just encouraged me going into the dungeons. Just saying. Just saying. Successfully selling your merchandise takes knowledge of two things. You must know an item's value as well as its demand. Come now, open the shop and allow the customers in. Okay, I guess I can do that. There you go. Come on in, guys. How's it going? Good to see you again, Janice. Yeah, that's, uh, that's prime material. Yeah, you know what you're looking for. You're good. All right, there you go. That'll be 100. Did you sell that? Did you see that? Best expression you can hope for. The item wasn't too expensive for them and not too cheap for you to lose profit. Be sure to pay attention to your customer's expressions. That's how your grandfather always knew if his prices were fair. All right, cool. Hey, Jackson, how you doing? Damn, dude, you're looking scruffy. Sure you don't want to shave? No, 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 that's overpriced. Yeah, sorry. I left the price too high. I don't think I need to tell you that item was obviously overpriced. Lesson learned, hmm? Finally, be careful of selling a popular item too much. If you flood the market, you'll have to offer cheaper prices on your wares. Point is, charge higher when something is in high demand and low in supply. Take out your merchant book. It holds all the information. 
You have gathered on discovered wares and artifacts. Ooh. All right. Uh -huh, okay. Oh, ah, oh, ah. Wait, but it doesn't tell me, like, value. Man, you're really gonna make me use the page up, page down thing here? Why can't I just scroll, man? I'm so confused, it's not letting me do it. Okay, I guess I'm not supposed to right now. What seemed the sun has fallen for the day. I best head off. You will, you, you will pick up more on your own, restoring the shop to its full glory. Restoring the shop to its full glory, hmm? That responsibility falls to you, not I. It's in your blood, Will. Make us proud. In the meantime, why don't you try out that new sword of yours? Dungeons are mere more perilous at night. Dungeons are more perilous at night, but one can always find a better artifact. Just don't dive too far and use that pendant, boy. Thanks, old guy. Go on now. These were where these weary bones of mine must rest. All right, bye. Oh, the music is good. Rhinoka, what a town. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Whose house is this? Looks abandoned. And also, I can't get anywhere near it. That's not creepy at all. Oh, I have a shield now, too. Wait, I can't do the charge attack anymore. What the heck? Where's my house? Hey, hey, you. Have you found any new culture artifacts in the dungeons, Will? I always found it fascinating how all the items we find in the dungeons appear to be from an entirely different civilizations. The unique cultures. Yep, that is pretty cool. Hey, guy. I keep hearing old rumor around town about the dungeon that maybe popular artifacts are easier to find at night. Do you think it's true? Okay, bye jerk. Yes, it's truth. It is the truth. Masa, my son, when I find you? Oh, Will, have you seen Masa around by chance? No! I don't know where your dang baby boy is. You gotta have to find him yourself, idiot. That's what you get for misplacing your child. <sighs> Who even misplaces a child? Hey, who's this? Will! Can we play tag next time I stop by your shop? No, go to your dad! You know, your sword doesn't look that much stronger than my wooden one. <laughs> Is it even sharp? It's sharp enough to cut your hair, jerk. I can't wait to get some hero armor. It protects and makes you look cool. <laughs> A lot cooler than your merchant clothes. <laughs> Shut up, you little kid! Will, can we play tag next time I go to your shop, huh? Even though I'm a little jerk. <laughs> Ow! You're rude, Will. What? Tomo. Will! I saw you in the dungeons earlier, mister. Did you bring me anything mysterious? Hmm? No. Sorry. People used to think the artifacts found in the dungeons were created out of thin air. Just generated inside the dungeon. A current shortage of golem artifacts is proving this theory wrong. Yep, what a bunch of idiots thinking they know stuff. Hey, I found Tomo. Are you heading into the dungeons? Be sure to take advantage of the hot spring if you find it. The water will soothe your aches, just downright revitalize you. Well, thanks for the advice. I need a thought. All right, 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 all right. Where's my house? Ma'am? I came from the capital just to get one of these culture artifacts. They're extremely popular there and can only be found here. Ooh! Is this the entrance to the dungeon? It is, it is. Glorious thing to be a pirate king. Okay, it looks like I can't... Okay, so I have to unlock the different levels. Oh, we're going back in. Why not? 
I got sucked in. Did you guys see that? I could be dead right now. Ugh, <coughs> Golem Dungeon. Oh, I haven't been through here too many times. Oh well. Uh, there's no, no doors in here. That's weird. Oh well. Well, let's see what's over here. Sup, creatures? Yeah, I'm not afraid. Not afraid to get you slayed. <laughs> Come on! Huh! Give me all your stuff! Uh, 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 yeah! I can't do the charge up anymore. What's up with that? I can only do it with the broom? Sword boy! Sword boy! Ah! Come on! <laughs> Come on, get some! Uh. Yeah, give me that. Alright. Oh, jeez. Uh, 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 ow! Come on. Get out of here, turret! Ah, uh -huh, you suck, turret. Man, my health hurts. My body hurts, I mean. I need health because of my body. Nope, 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 nope. You little slimelings, get out of here. Give me your little slime goo. Thank you. You know what? That's enough. I'm going to get out of here. Time to go home. Uh, my body aches. This, my injuries are so weak. What? I can't leave? What the hell? Why can't I leave? Wait, how do I leave? How do I leave? Okay, hang on. Uh, great, I don't know how to leave. Why can't I open my inventory in here? Whoops! Oh well, guess I needed the health anyway. Yeah, that's stupid, I can't seem to like leave without completing the dungeon or something? Whoa, hello. To a person of hopefully far better luck than I, my time is short. I took injury from the strange creature across the room. My pendant, all but shattered from the scuffle. Check him out, though. I'd say I, I far, fare better than blah. He caught me spying on him near the Guardian's room. He dropped a couple of items when he fled. One of which is this map diagram. Uh, whatever it is. I was right. They called me crazy. Said old Crazy Pete done gone lost his marbles. But I was right. Each guardian of the dungeon must possess a key of sorts. All of them linked to the giant locked doors outside the dungeons. The fifth door of Rio Rionka. Sadly, I won't be around to see the door open. To whoever found me, I apologize for the smell, but the diagram should be around here somewhere. Please, open the fifth door of Rionka. These dungeons are not what they seem. Okay. Big Boss gonna kill me! I'm I supposed to let them all out! Now I have to chase this weird creature that stole my stuffs! Ah! Big Boss gonna be so upset with little me! Oh, interesting. Okay, that's cool. Big Boss gonna be the madman! L, 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 okay. Cool. So now let's press and hold L. Uh... That's how you escape. Okay, cool. Nice. All right. That is uh that's where I'm going to end it for this time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh I'll be posting two videos from them this week because well there were two games available. Woo! Freedom. Oh, looks like I'm going to talk to the old man first. All right, old man, make it quick. Ah, the young purport Proprietor of Moonlighter has returned. You look intact. Finally learned to use that pendant properly. It's about time, boy. Hmm. What are you holding? Is that a chart of the dungeons? Why did you get this? You... You found old Pete? Dead? I see. This is what happens when you chase what's behind that door. Leave it, Will! Just get the artifacts you need from the Golem Dungeon, and look after Moonlighter. Now, 
I noticed some posts on the town board. They may interest you. Some shops want to move in, attempt to revitalize this town. Apparently, they need some startup capital first. Would be nice to see some new life in Renyoka. Nice indeed. All right, see you, old timer. Guess what? Still gonna open door number five. Don't really care what you say. Don't give a damn about that board today. Just need to get home. Need to get sleeping. Just gotta get myself back to bed. Gotta rest my weary head. Don't give a crap about what that says. I'll check it out later. All right, guys. That's gonna be it for this time. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe. And also make sure to tell some friends about my channel. That's gonna be it. I already said that. Uh, game over. Game over. Bye.